All right, so in trying to finish this off, I have some different layers, duotone color, soft edge duotone, full spectrum color. I can play with the opacity of these different effects. I can play with the effects themselves and their angles. And their individual opacities. And the scale of them, just so many different factors. So it's really, it's a little mind boggling all the different options we have. You can then um, rasterize your layer styles and then you can set them to other factors as well. So if I wanted to give it a little bit of texture, I can use dissolve just on one of the overlays. And that looks nice. And then anything that's just plain flat color now looks a little dull. So I'm just gonna go in now and do some of these accents, right? Just like his beard has, I'm gonna do that on my bull. So what can I do? I can go to my flat color layer, right? Use my magic wand, select all of that, duplicate it again bring it up on top of everything, right? Go to levels and make it really bright. And then I can just select out lots of little streaks. I'm gonna hold down shift while I do it. And these are going to be lots of little accent highlights all on their own layer. And because they're going to be on their own layer, I can overdo it. We always tend to overdo things. It's not always bad. But as long as they're on their own layer, then we're able to adapt. So even little dots and specks. This is all just on the bull's head. Things that are shinier, reflected light. Weird hairy shapes. So duotone, it sounds like it means two, but really it just means light and dark. So you can push as many variations on that same local color as you like and still be working within duotone. Okay, so I have all these, these little accents. Okay, you see them all. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate those out, Command J, delete behind. Now you see all those little accents in there. And those are all cut edge, you know, hard edged accents. And this is a trick I like. These little dots, I can copy those and paste them. CV, and then move them to a new place, like here <laughs> on the muzzle. Paste them again, Command V. Move them here. Command V again. Move them to the ear. It's the benefit of limited color. Paste them again. The back of the neck. Maybe down there. Now there are some that might not be working, right? So I'm going to merge all those together. Hold down Shift, Command E, 
So ones that might not work, I'll use the magic wand with contiguous and just get rid of them. So I don't think this one's particularly working. Or I can just move it around. So I've selected it. But where might it work? Maybe in between. Okay. The other option I have is it's easy to make something that is hard edged into something that is soft edged. And that's why I usually start with a hard edge duotone. And the way you do that is you simply use Gaussian blur. I can also rotate the highlight use it a different way. I can transform it, make it bigger, and stretch it. This is digital tools just give us a whole lot of options that way. I can shift everything a little bit off to one side. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so how can I make all of that really soft? Well, what I can do is make a duplicate first, because why ruin what you have? And then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and you can instantly turn Hard Edge into Soft Edge by gradating it, right? And I can always use adjustments to brighten it or to darken it, right? So that's it as a shadow. I can even do kind of a soft edged, darker effect like that, and then put that underneath my cut edge highlights. So many options, ridiculous. Because they're soft edge, I can glow them a little bit. And grow them out. Or give them their own effects <laughs> on top, like an outer glow. Okay, so let's see, where else do I need things? The chin, I'll select that, duplicate it out. I'm gonna brighten it up. Cut out the shadows. The upper lip, here, let's put a little bit of randomness in there. Oops. Oops. The upper lip, same thing, bring it out. Brighten it up with levels. So by using levels to brighten it up, I'm making sure it's duotone. I'm making sure I'm not adding full spectrum color into it. I'm just doing lighter and darker versions. And let's get a little bit of a cast shadow from the lip. On there. The teeth. Duplicate those. 
And then this time I'm going to darken them so I can get a shadow on the teeth. Just by limiting the, the highlights. Let's see, did I actually get them? Yeah, good. And then I'm going to cut out where the shadow would be. Or won't, wouldn't be. Right? And then I can soften that slightly by using Gaussian Blur. Same thing for the purple inside the mouth. Cut out the highlight. Right. Then maybe even just gradate it. Just a straight gradient. Let's use the right angle. Oh, I have it on light, and that's why. There we go, that's looking better. And then the horns. So I'm going to turn off contiguous so I can just get everything at once. And now I'm just going to do some kind of crazy all over stuff. Duplicate those out, the horns and the top of the fork, and just put a gradient overlay on top of all of those. But I need something reflective, right? Let's see. I wish it was cooler. Let's see. I'll change these colors to be in more of the turquoise. Range. Yeah, I like that. All right, then let's see what else. These yellows, let's put a gradient on those. Mm-hmm. 